Coming up in the number two slot, the aircraft that changed the face of aeronautical design and with its hefty price tag, literally puts this bomber out of sight. The B-2 Spirit, manufacturer, Northrop Grumman Corporation. Power plant, four General Electric F-118 jet engines with 17,300 pounds of thrust. Top speed, high subsonic, classified. Payload, 40,000 pounds. Armament, none. Range, 6,000 miles. When the B-2 was first rolled out in November 1988, words like futuristic and out of this world made this aircraft a legend before it could fly. But no words could hide the fact that the B-2 is the most sophisticated long-range bomber of all time. On pure design grounds, there's nothing like the B-2. Its technical achievements are too long to list. It's the first large stealth aircraft. To achieve this stealth technology, the B-2 relies heavily on its highly classified RAM, or radar absorbent materials, that cover its surfaces. But other factors also come into play. It gets its stealth design, which makes it hard for radar to see, from its curved shape. It's amazing that this has been achieved over such a large aircraft. It also reduces signature in other parts of the spectrum. It has less of an infrared signature, less of an acoustic signature. Also, with its classified electronic countermeasures, speeds in the high subsonic, and the ability to fly nearly 40-hour missions, no target on Earth is safe from its weapons. But this 21st century digital warrior was originally conceived in the second half of the 20th century as an answer to the escalating Cold War with the Soviet Union. One way to get through Soviet air defenses to deliver a bomb load was to be very, very invisible, stealthy. The idea behind the B-2 is to get through Soviet air defense, not by going over them or by going through them so quickly they can't stop you, but to go through them so quietly that the Soviets don't know you're coming. And with a radar signature 1,000 times less than a conventional aircraft, the B-2 seemed to be the answer. But with the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, only 21 B-2s were ever built. But these 21 were destined to be the most sophisticated bombers in the world. The B-2 has a tremendous payload, both conventional and it still retains the capability to conduct a nuclear mission. But conventional weapons, the B-2 carries 16 2,000-pound JNAMs. It can also carry 80 500-pound bombs in its bomb bay. And as weapons get smaller, it will be able to carry more and more. What's it mean to have 16 JDAMs in the bomb bay? What the B-2 carries is 16 2,000-pound bombs that can all be directed to precisely hit a target through satellite control. They can also be targeted individually. That means they don't have to drop the bombs on one target in a string, but can drop them literally on up to 16 different aim points in the same mission. It's a tremendous, flexible instrument. Added to this, the B-2 is at the forefront of technological warfare. Its ability to switch targets at a minute's notice via communication with the command center puts this aircraft at the spearhead of today's modern digital battlefield. But at $2.1 billion each, this aircraft is almost too expensive to use. But in 1999, the B-2s were used when, as part of NATO, they attacked targets in Serbia. During 45 sorties, six B-2s were responsible for 33% of all targets destroyed. This tally was further improved when, after 9-11, during the bombings of Afghanistan and Iraq, the B-2s were consistently the military commander's weapon of choice. With its cutting-edge technology, the B-2 gives the U.S. the finest bomber in the world for the foreseeable future and scores off the scale for innovation. Also, payload and fear factor makes a high rating. Because of its stealth technology, defensive armament rating is good. Only its short service life marks it down, but only to second place in our top 10 best bombers.